continuing with frame by frame animating here. I can always see if I set it up this way with the stage and my assets, where I left off, where I am, and what I'm building. And I can always check in my stage by just turning off some of the eyeballs, the previous movements, right? So I'm just looking at that sun, it's sinking, the hand's coming down, that's where I left off. So I start with the constant movements. So the pizza sun, I duplicate it and I move it down and to the left. A little bit more. Yeah, I think that works. And I move the hand. Now the hand is coming down. I don't need it with the head. I need it earlier. All right, so I need that one. I have all these assets already built, so now it's just about turning on the right layer. Now I want to move the head again, and I want to move the body again. But I have lots of different heads. And I have lots of different bodies. So let's see how that looks. And actually, I want that hand to be open, not pinched yet. So I'm going to change that hand to my pinched hand. I'm going to make a duplicate of it and then move that open hand down. No, that's too much work. Never mind. Again, it's a GIF animation doesn't need to be a masterpiece of, of film work. Okay, so got my next frame set up. What do I do? I flatten it. I see that in my history. Then I select all of it and then I copy all of it and then I go in my history before I flatten so I get my layers back in my assets. Then I go to my stage and I paste it in. And you can use the shortcuts for that. I'll do that from now on. Set up my next frame. Now the hand's going to grab the head. And now the head needs to be in the right position to be grabbed. Looks like that's it. Turn off the other ones. And then I move the body again. Let's see if that pose works. But what did I forget to do? That's why I check it. You always got to start with the sun. For me, the constant movement. Duplicate it. Move it down and to the left. Just a little bit. And then let's see if that works. It's a lot of movement of the sun. I think I need to back that up a bit. I'm just going to use the arrow keys. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more to the right. Honestly, that's the hardest thing, is just the trajectory of the sun and getting it to be kind of even. All right, I've got my next frame. So, layer, flatten image, clear the warning, command A to select all, command C to copy it all, click before I flatten, go to the stage, command V to paste it all. Let's build the next one. Start with the sun, duplicate it, turn off the one behind. Move it down. Sometimes I'll even count 
my arrow strokes if I want it really even. I haven't been doing that, but that works. I can make it sync a little bit faster now. As long as it doesn't speed up and then slow down. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next, I'm switching to the layer that I marked red where the hand and the head are part of the same layer. And then I add the accordion fold. There we go. But the body should probably move a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. So, layer, flatten image, clear the warning, command A to select all, command C to copy it all. Click before I flatten the image, go to the stage, command V to paste it in. Start with the pizza. This animation, so lovely and repetitive. I need to move it down a little bit more. And I think I really do need to just set these so that the pizza stops at certain spots until it's all the way gone. All right. So I've done the pizza. I got to move the hand up. I can do the next accordion. Now find should have all these assets already ready from before. There we go. And then do I want to move the body? I do. But it would tell the story without my doing this. Without my moving the body. Remember my keyframes, my storyboard sketch. They help make sure the, the important movements are accounted for. Okay, flatten the image. Select all, Command A. Copy, Command C. Go before I flatten the image, get my layers back, and then go to my stage and can paste Command V. Pizza. Turn on my guides. That's still too much. I'm going to do it this way. Just because I'm losing the bottom edge of the pizza, I'm going to put guides at the top of it. And now I just have a lot of guides, but it helps me see how far I can travel. So it's a little far, even though we're getting closer to the horizon. Mm 
Okay. And what else? The hand with the head moves up. And the accordion neck. It's longer and the body has to move. Okay. Flatten the image. Select all. Copy. Go before I flatten the image in my history, get my layers back, go to my stage, and paste. So the headache of this animation has been the pizza. But it's good to show you kind of the complexity of, of animating different moving elements. And it just makes you have to really think it through. And it means I can't just repeat old frames. The pizza needs to keep moving at a consistent, at a fairly consistent rate. But it's almost gone. All right, and then the head gets to its longest part. The body is to a pose where you start to see a little bit of blood. <laughs> and then the hand moves higher. Actually, this is the highest I've moved the head, so I'm going to duplicate that asset and move it up a little bit higher, like so. Okay. Layer flatten. Clear the warning. Select all. Copy. Once you've copied, go back before you flattened your image in your assets. Go to your stage, paste it in on top of your last layer. Bless you. Uh, I don't like where that sun is. Darn. It's so annoying. I seem to move it a little bit more to the left. More animation components, more problems. Okay, that's better. So just understand your workflow. Flattening it all, like getting it into one frame, selecting it all, copying it, undoing your flatten, in your assets and then moving it over to the stage and pasting it in. So you have a full image, full frame by frame animation, full control. All right, now I'm gonna have the hand let go. I gotta move the sun first. So many pizzas, different one for every frame. Just so I can recreate frames if I need to. So you move it a little bit more. There we go. And let's make the hand let go. So it was here, it's going to now be here. And we're going to snap the head back. 